Last time on Dragon Ball, Goku had a brush with stardom as he fought Pomput, a famous athlete and action star. The fourth match of the quarterfinals with its talented contenders appeared to have all the ingredients of a classic fight. Yeah! However, with Goku's first attack, Pomput was immobilized, falling short of fans' expectations. Goku's superior fighting skills not only won him the match, but hundreds of adoring fans. Of course, not everyone found the boy's achievement amusing, namely Tien, who vowed to destroy Goku in the ring. While Goku and Krillin rejoiced over the victory, Jackie Chun tempered their excitement by warning them not to underestimate the incredible power of Tien, his next challenger in the fifth match. The tournament continues now. Last time on Dragon Ball, the tournament semifinals began as Jackie Chun battled Tian Shenhan. Confident the mirror image technique would stop his adversary, Jackie overlooked Tian's incredible sight and paid the price. Fortunately, Jackie Chun decided to take a more hands-on approach. What followed was the most ferocious fight the tournament had seen in years which took its toll on the combatants. It makes no sense that an old man should be so agile and skillful. Whoever he is, he's more powerful than anyone I've ever faced. He's just a kid, but he's taken everything I've thrown at him and keeps coming back for more. Previously on Dragon Ball, the tournament semifinals erupted in a fist storm as Tian Shinhan battled Jackie Chun. <laughs> Tien illuminated the match with his solar flare, blindsiding Jackie. It looked as though Tien's surprise attack worked, until... Thanks! Last time on Dragon Ball, the sixth match of the tournament series began as fellow Turtle Hermit students Goku and Krillin engaged in a friendly but volatile slugfest. Punch for punch, the amicable adversaries stood their ground and occasionally left it. I'll show you how anti-hero I can be when I destroy Goku. The battle went on and on, with both opponents taking their knocks and getting their kicks. Previously on Dragon Ball, Goku charged into battle against Krillin for the sixth match in the World Martial Arts Tournament. Boma and the gang joined the crowd in support of their friends, though not everyone was a fan, namely Master Shen, who blamed Goku for the death of his brother, Mercenary Tao. Punch after punch, the fighting seemed to go on forever, with neither opponent gaining much ground. Krillin tried to grab the lead with an assortment of crafty tricks, but Goku was ready for him, thwarting his friend's every scheme until all hope of a quick victory vanished before his eyes. Krillin was dumbfounded by Goku's maneuver, as was the audience, mostly. Goku's incredible speed made him virtually invisible, allowing him to move closer and closer and closer. Krillin was knocked from the ring before he knew what hit him. 
and Goku was on his way to fight in the championship round. Enjoy this small victory, Goku. It will be your last. And now, Goku must battle Tien Shinhan to see who will become the new master of martial arts. Last time on Dragon Ball, the 22nd World Martial Arts Tournament came down to the final match. Goku versus Tien Shinhan. In the beginning, the fight was balanced. That is, until Goku found himself in a vulnerable position, of which Tien took full advantage using his Dodon Ray. Goku recovered and launched into a counterattack using his proven disappearing technique. However, Tien was ready for him and responded with furious force. Goku was defenseless as his opponent subjected him to a hailstorm of punches that left the young warrior battered and bruised. Goku appeared to be down for the count. Worse, his fate was in the hands of his ruthless opponent. Can Goku recover in time? Or will Tien Shinhan satisfy his thirst for revenge and win the tournament? The answer is moments away. Last time on Dragon Ball, the tournament's final match was in full swing as Goku and Tien Shinhan attacked one another in furious combat. <laughs> Using the after-image technique, Goku managed to confuse Tien long enough to mount a strong offensive, which appeared successful until... The young hero was stricken by a mysterious, paralyzing force that left him vulnerable to Tien's assault. Not fair! So what? <laughs> Last time on Dragon Ball! You were like... Too much on tricks! When you meet Tao, be sure to tell him I sent you! As Goku fought Tian Shenhan, Master Shen used Chao Tzu's mental powers to paralyze the young hero, leaving him defenseless against Tian's attack. Now! You must do it now! However, Master Shen's deception backfired once Tien learned the truth, and he was quickly dismissed from the tournament thanks to Master Roshi's Kamehameha wave. With the influence of his corrupt master removed, Tien renounced his quest for vengeance and recommitted himself to the match, vowing to defeat Goku at all costs. Goku met his opponent's challenge with steely resolve and unwavering determination. In a bid to ensure success, Tien Shinhan called upon the Four Witches technique. The monstrous power promised to lend him an extra hand. Two of them. Big trouble. Big, big arms. <laughs> Last time on Dragon Ball. I no longer wish to kill you. When the time comes, avoid it! Huh? The tri beam cannon? Go, Tien! Go! Tien Shinhan, you mustn't do this! Proving his desire to win at all costs, Tien called upon the tri beam cannon, a lethal technique with such fierce power, it not only destroys the target, but its master as well. Tri beam! Excitement turned to horror as Tien's tri-beam cannon filled the arena with blinding light. Goku was consumed by its deadly brilliance. Last time on Dragon Ball, while celebrating Tien Shinhan's victory over the martial arts tournament, cheer gave way to despair as Goku was gripped with fear over the absence of Krillin, who had left the party to retrieve Goku's four-star Dragon Ball and Power Pole. Unfortunately, Krillin's promise of a quick return was never realized. 
Overcome with dread, Goku raced in search of his missing friend. What he found was unimaginable. I'm here! Wake up! Uh, Krillin! Uh, he's gone. And now, our story continues. Last time on Dragon Ball, the martial arts tournament ended in tragedy when Krillin was found slain by a mysterious attacker. Described as a monster, the culprit stole Goku's four-star Dragon Ball and a list of members of the Martial Arts Society. Enraged and consumed by his thirst for revenge, Goku left the others in search of his friend's killer. Meanwhile, Master Roshi uncovered startling evidence which identified the murderous fiend as King Piccolo, a ruthless alien bent on finding the Dragon Balls and conquering the world. Using the Dragon Radar, Goku tracked down the killer and rushed to attack. His life was a big mistake! Krillin was my best friend! I love my job. The evil creature known as Piccolo had hatched a dastardly plan. First, he sent his henchman Tambourine to fetch the Dragon Balls. Then he ordered him to destroy anyone who would stand in his way. He has the list of names. <laughs> Good. Post them up. You won't need his picture any longer. <laughs> they drove back my forces and locked me in a jar. Hunt them down. All of them leave not one standing. Yes. And so the horrible, murderous scheme was launched. Previously on Dragon Ball, Tambourine, brutal enforcer of King Piccolo, was sent to hunt down and exterminate the members of the Martial Arts Society. One by one, they fell, no matter how confident or strong. Police are baffled as to the motives of the killer and why only martial artists are targeted. Alerted to the danger, Master Roshi and his team fled Kami Island in search of safety. King Piccolo hatched a new warrior, Symbol, and sent him on a mission to retrieve the remaining six Dragon Balls. Who do you serve, my child? Meanwhile, Goku, ravaged from his confrontation with Tambourine, stumbled through the jungle, where he faced an even greater adversary, Hunger. I can't go on. Gotta eat something. Luckily, Goku found some ammunition. Things were looking up for our young hero, until he was suddenly hit with another surprise. I know you're there. Come out and face me, you coward. I'm not a coward. You're the sneak that stole my food. Expecting to find Tambourine, Goku was surprised by the new face. But is the stranger friendly or another adversary for Goku to fight? Previously on Dragon Ball, the evil monster Tambourine carried out his sinister mission to seek out and exterminate all members of the Martial Arts Society. <laughs> His master, King Piccolo, created a new soldier, Symbol, for the sole purpose of gathering the six remaining Dragon Balls. While roaming the wilderness, Goku stumbled upon a new acquaintance named Yajirobe. The mountain boy was displeased with Goku, who mistakenly ate his breakfast. Both warriors quickly learned of the other's incredible strength. going to be as easy as I thought. I kicked him as hard as I could. Who is this guy? Following the signal of Yajirobe's Dragon Ball, Symbol made an appearance. Which was cut short 
by the Mountain Boy's blade. <laughs> no, 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 Symbol has failed me. <sighs> Previously on Dragon Ball, Goku and Yajirobe were paid a visit by Symbol, servant of King Piccolo, and charged with retrieving the Dragon Balls. Yajirobe, unwilling to part with his, fought the monster in a fierce battle and won. Cutting short Symbol's reign of terror. Goku was astounded by the Mountain Boy's strength. Tambourine tracked down Yamcha and attempted to make him the eighth victim among the martial artists he was sent to slay. He might have succeeded if it were not for his master's call. Tambourine! Wait! Symbol was destroyed. A response to this crime must be swift and severe. Abandon your current assignment and find the assailant. Tambourine was off to kill again. Previously on Dragon Ball, after decades of being imprisoned by the Turtle Hermit Master Mutaito, the evil King Piccolo escaped and began a new plot to conquer the world using the Dragon Balls. Fortunately, the mountain boy Yajirobe was able to cut through the King's minions, preventing the extraterrestrial from getting his clutches on the magical orbs. Out of fear of being recaptured, Piccolo sent his chief enforcer, Tambourine, to destroy all members of the martial arts society. His first victim was Krillin, whom I Goku vowed to avenge. Was. I told you! I'd make you pay! I'll never forgive you for killing Krillin in my Nimbus Cloud! And I want my Dragon Ball back! Ugh. This is truly hilarious! You wanna fight me again? Last time I was hungry, but now I'm full and ready to beat you! Beat me? You're not even in the same league! I'll stop you one way or another. You'll see. With that, the showdown began. This one's for Krillin. Last time on Dragon Ball. <laughs> Goku challenged Tambourine to a rematch, running circles around his foe. Tambourine didn't stand a chance as Goku struck with a vengeance. <laughs> Nothing Tambourine did seem to have an effect on Goku. Now it's your turn to feel the same pain that you gave Krillin! Realizing he couldn't win, Tambourine fled. But Goku gave chase, and with help from his Kamehameha wave, made the monster see the light. Through a psychic link, King Piccolo felt Tambourine's destruction by Goku. Distraught. The evil overlord vowed revenge. I don't know who's responsible for this outrage, but I will personally see to their destruction for interfering with my plans. <sighs> Previously on Dragon Ball, Master Roshi stumbled upon the six-star Dragon Ball as he continued his search along with Tian Shinhan and Chao Tzu. Hey, hey it's the six-star ball. We did it. King Piccolo tracked down Goku and challenged him to battle for the demise of his henchmen, Symbol and Tambourine. <laughs> you are the reason I exterminated the Martial Arts Society. You deserve to be terminated. Goku fought bravely, but against King Piccolo's might, it wasn't enough. As a last defense, Goku used the Kamehameha Wave, his most powerful technique. It didn't work. It's about time we say goodbye, boy. Last time on Dragon Ball, having found five Dragon Balls, Master Roshi and the others attempted to lure King Piccolo into a trap to gain the remaining two. I guess I should keep these in a safe place. 
Unfortunately, those plans went down the drain when Piccolo swallowed the orbs. The only option for us now is to knock him over and pump those balls out of his rotten hide. I must fight him, Master. I must. No, Tien, you stay out of this. It's the only way. But you Fearing for his students' safety, Master Roshi decided to alter his plan and leave his students out of it. Tell Goku, I was proud. Shao Tzu, stay hidden. Do not come out until it's over, no matter what happens. Yes, Master. Okay. With his team secured, Master Roshi challenged King Piccolo to a duel. The battle to save the planet was at hand, and the fate of all mankind rested on the Turtle Hermit's shoulders. Last time on Dragon Ball, King Piccolo's sinister plot to regain his youth through the power of the Dragon Balls was revealed. The only obstacle in his way was Master Roshi, determined to prevent the monster from claiming his prize and taking over the world. Piccolo proved to be a dangerous adversary. Attempting to capture the creature, the Turtle Hermit went on the offensive, using the evil containment wave to trap Piccolo in the electronic jar. He failed. I, I missed it. By a twist of fate, the battle shifted in favor of Piccolo, who, while exhausted from the ordeal, retained control. Master Roshi had depleted all his energy, and with nothing left to give, succumbed to fatigue. King Piccolo claimed the Dragon Balls and called forth the Eternal Dragon. Oh, magnificent. Previously on Dragon Ball, after a near-fatal battle with King Piccolo, Goku retreated to Korin's tower to recuperate, meeting some old friends along the way. Master Roshi attempted to trap King Piccolo using the evil containment wave, but was defeated. King Piccolo realized his dastardly ambition for power by calling upon the Eternal Dragon and wishing for youth. Unfortunately for all, his desire was granted. Restored, the new King Piccolo wasted no time implementing his scheme of world domination. He vowed to wreak havoc across the globe. Last time on Dragon Ball, Goku returned to Korin's tower following a near-fatal fight with King Piccolo. With help from friends Yajirobe and Bora, Goku began the long climb to see Master Korin and regain his strength. <laughs> Using the power of the Dragon Balls, King Piccolo succeeded in restoring his youth and began anew his bid to conquer the world, one sector at a time. First on his agenda was King Furry's domain. The frightened ruler reluctantly fled for safety. But it didn't take long for the brutal invader to catch up. Going somewhere. Last time on Dragon Ball, King Piccolo began his invasion of the world in the most unlikely of places. King's Castle, a symbol of peace, which the Conqueror reduced to pieces. In an instant, King Furry's entire kingdom was transformed into a barren wasteland. Declaring himself ruler, Piccolo promised this more death and destruction if King Furry power. did not comply with his demands. After an exhaustive journey, Goku and Yajirobe finally made it to the top of Korin's tower. Master Korin was surprised to learn of Goku's desire to undertake additional training. 
had advised his pupil that engaging King Piccolo in further conflict would result in his own demise. Last time on Dragon Ball. After meeting with the mysterious Korin, Goku learned that the only way to defeat King Piccolo was to find and drink the dangerous do Ultra Divine it. Water. I will go and find the Divine Water and bring it back. I guess this is where I'll be going home. See ya. Yajirobe decides to take Goku as far as the mouth of the Cave of Darkness before going home. But the best laid plans of mice and martial artists seldom go as planned. Last time on Dragon Ball, after dethroning King Furry on international Showtime. television, Piccolo announced his intentions for his new regime of freedom. And when King Piccolo speaks of freedom, he's not kidding around. Robbery, violence, murder, and war. All will be welcome in my glorious new kingdom. We will establish a worldwide order of evil and destroy outmoded ideas of justice. Meanwhile, Goku finds the ultra-divine water and drinks the sacred liquid, fabled to give great strength to those who survive its poison. But are his efforts rewarded with power? Or death? Previously on Dragon Ball, King Piccolo launched an attack on the Eastern City, laying it to waste and declaring himself ruler of the sector. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tian Xinhan, consumed with his desire to destroy King Piccolo, mastered the evil containment wave. I've done it. Goku down the dangerous Ultra Divine Water in hopes of increasing his abilities. The gamble paid off as he was rewarded with mysteriously strengthened powers. I don't know. I feel different, but I just can't explain it. King Piccolo began his reign Stick of terror script, with a nationally televised announcement of horrific proportions. <laughs> My first decree is to abolish the police and release all criminals. I want riots. Order is legally dead. As a result of Piccolo's savage policies, pandemonium erupted in the streets as reason gave way to unbridled chaos. Last time on Dragon Ball, having successfully conquered the Eastern City, King Piccolo decided to mark the anniversary of his rule with the destruction of the uh, World Sector. Selected at random, up. the monstrous Not invader implemented a policy to destroy one of the 43 sectors each year. I'll the brutal news shocked citizens soon. across the globe and sent a wave of panic through Sector 28, the first to receive Piccolo's death sentence. After enhancing his abilities by drinking ultra-divine water, Goku rushes towards a rematch with King Piccolo. Meanwhile, Tian Shinhan, having learned the deadly evil containment wave, set out for the eastern city, his mind beset with plans of vengeance against Piccolo for the deaths of Master Roshi and Chao Tzu. You're nothing. The only thing big about you is your mouth. I can give you a competitor. I know that you will find a challenge. With that, a new menace was born. Drum, 
King Piccolo's newest agent of terror. Last time on Dragon Ball, Tian Shinhan used the evil containment wave against King Piccolo. Unfortunately, Tian's plan to trap Piccolo blew up in his face. Once again, the battle seemed to shift in Piccolo's favor. Tian's misfire left him drained of all energy and vulnerable to attack. It appeared as though the brave warrior was done for. Make it as painful as possible. <laughs> Until from out of nowhere, help arrived. That's impossible! Goku returned for a rematch. Goku! Get out of there! You're not going anywhere, Rot. No one treats me like that and gets away with it. Exactly. Teach these fools a lesson they won't forget. <laughs> Piccolo quickly realized that this time Goku wasn't kidding around. Hmm. Last time on Dragon Ball. Now watch and learn. You're about to see for yourself how powerful I really am. Come on! I'm ready anytime you are. Piccolo was furious that Goku dared to challenge him, so he pulled out all the stops and tried to clobber his pint-sized opponent. But the wily young hero proved to be more than a handful. Unfortunately, a well-placed punch sent Goku flying, and it looked like this battle was over before it could ever get started. With his competition crushed, Piccolo now has free reign over Eastern City, and that's got everyone afraid for their lives. <laughs> that's it. He's gone. <laughs> Good riddance, kid. <laughs> is Goku really gone? Or is there a chance that some miracle will happen and he'll be able to pull himself up and face Piccolo one more time? Stay tuned. Last time on Dragon Ball, Piccolo terrified the citizens of Eastern City, and it was up to Goku to stop him. The young hero did his best to send the monster sailing, but even though he made every punch and kick count, Piccolo was still able to put Goku's leg out of commission with a savage energy blast. But with the help of his power pole, the battle continued. I have you now! Once the smoke cleared, it looked like there would be only one warrior left standing. But it was not to be. Thanks to Tien, Goku escaped to the skies and countered with a power punch that knocked the wind out of Piccolo. Oh, darn it! I couldn't hit him hard enough because of my sore leg! That's too bad, because you're gonna pay for that! Goku's attitude made Piccolo go ballistic as he pulled out all the stops in a final attempt to destroy the young warrior. The devastation Piccolo caused left him exhausted but exhilarated at the same time. Had he won the battle and obliterated Goku for good? That's more like it. I destroyed him. <laughs> Try again. I'm still here. The fight concludes today on Dragon Ball. And so Goku finally defeated his rival Piccolo in a series of epic battles. But now, with the Eternal Dragon gone, how will he get the Dragon Balls that he so desperately needs to revive his friends Master Roshi and Krillin? The future is uncertain. But you can bet there are new challenges on the horizon for Goku. So don't miss the next exciting episode of Dragon Ball.